I don't get it. I don't get him to. Oh, expert universal tech research. Oh. Um, what's that? Oh, really? Huh. Huh. All right. All right. Ah, uh, I'll read this. I'll read this one. <clears throat> Our first task in the Delta Quadrant is a familiar one: helping a species to find a new home. A group of Talaxians, <laughs> a group of Talaxians living in the Antaba system, are ready to move to a new homeworld nearby. Admiral Tuvok and Voyager have gone ahead to the main asteroid base to begin the preparations for the transition. Their admiral has requested your presence as well. You two work well together. I recommend you take advantage of his expertise. There is no one who knows more about the Delta Quadrant than he does. How was that? <laughs> Travel to the Antava system, which is located in the Vin Vintati sector block to help the Talaxians. So here goes another story mission. Except. Except. Um, who are you? Oh yes, I've already asked who you are. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. All right. Um, actually, no. In progress, I want to make a priority. Pri or make primary. Yes. Okay. Go to the Antaba system. <sighs> no, it's down here, right? Yeah. Apply the cost to the Antaba system, Lieutenant. <laughs> I want that to be named for a race. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember when space I remember when sector space was like that grid remember with that flat almost grid looking thing and now look at I remember when they redid the astrometrix I remember when they redid the map to look like this I was like oh my god now that's Star Trek now that looks beautiful I'm like now that's Star Trek um, and Taba system more than 3,000 Talaxians have settled on an asteroid base in the Antava system where they use the asteroid's geothermal energy to melt the ice provide, covering the surface, providing oxygen and water for the residents. The Talaxians at the colony have been sending out trade and survey ships for more than a decade, see, searching for a class, for an uninhabited class and world that is similar to Talax. Alright, we're going to begin reunion. I don't know if I'll do the voice all the way through and do all that other stuff, but <coughs> we will see. We will see. Again, I might not be the most responsive to the chat during the mission, but I will be seeing what you guys say, and and if I don't get to everything during the mission, I'll I'll definitely go back after. So, we have arrived in the Antaba system, sir. Our orders are to rendezvous with Admiral Tuvok on Voyager, setting a course to their coordinates now. Good job, Lieutenant. Set a course. Wait a minute. I'm noticing on sensors there are enemy vessels nearby. Voyager is under attack by the Kazon. Engines are offline, requesting assistance. Don't worry, Admiral. The Indefatic will, will help. Fire all weapons! Take out that raider! Fire torpedoes! How three of you got to drop on the USS Voyager, I'll never know. But that won't happen here. Fire torpedoes! Prepare quantum torpedo fire! I'll stop, Lieutenant. I'll stop. Thank you for your assistance. We were en route to the Talaxian base when we were ambushed by the Kazon. The damage is relatively minor, but my crew will require <laughs> time to make repairs. However, I have a personal request. The leader of the Talaxian colony served with me on Voyager. 
Would you be willing to take me there? Uh, of course, Admiral Tuvok. Beam over at your convenience. Uh, but didn't he annoy you to no end? Uh, just not sure why you'd want to see him again, but that's up to you. This base is populated by Talaxians. My shipmate from Voyager, Neelix, joined them before they moved to this location. The Talaxians have been looking for a new homeworld for quite some time, and now they have found one. Shouldn't we repair Voyager? <laughs> the Alliance's history with the relocation of the Romulans will be invaluable in this process. Let's get up alongside her. Maybe we can render some assistance. I'll stop. All right, now. Oh, oh, oh I got. I got to head over there. Never mind. Head for the green circle. Wait, I'm not going the right way. Where is it? There we go. Aha! This way. I'll stop. <clears throat> All right. Starfleet! Oh, what a thrill! It's so wonderful to see someone from the Federation again. It's been so long, and I keep in touch with my friends, but subspace isn't the same, and I... Listen to me. I'm rambling on. My name is Neelix, and I serve as Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. Before that, I spent seven years on the USS Voyager with Captain Catherine Janeway. Admiral Janeway there, Mr. Ambassador. She was promoted some time ago. Admiral Janeway? Of course, she certainly earned that promotion. My link to the Alpha Quadrant wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be until the Janolan Dyson Sphere opened a path straight to the Delta Quadrant. Now we get all sorts of news, but yours is the first ship to visit. I, uh, I may make a trip to Earth myself sometime, sample the cuisine, but that will have to wait until after the colonization. I barely have a minute to myself anymore. There's just so much to do. Uh, about the colonization, Ambassador. Oh, you've come to help? How wonderful! I, but of course, Starfleet's always pitching in to help out, aren't they? Why, in all my years as Ambassador to the Delta Quadrant, I've done everything I could to uphold the good name of the Federation. I don't always have the resources to do more than diplomatic visits, but we try to help out anyone we can, whenever we can. There are Okapan ships out there right now. Did you know that? My people are helping them explore the stars. Ambassador, Ambassador, I'm, I'm sure the Federation appreciates your efforts on its behalf. But could we please get back to the colonization efforts? Oh, where are my manners? You must be tired and thirsty after your long journey. Come to the colony. We'll fix you right up. But, but, but if I could impose on you just for a small favor first. The Kazon Nistrum have been giving us a lot of trouble lately. We've constructed some shield generators to protect the base, but the Kazon keep knocking them offline and all my shuttles are prepping for the colonization. Could you reactivate the shields for us? As long as you don't cook me any food, uh, Ambassador. Of course. Of course. Wonderful! Just fly to the generators and start the relaunch sequence. It will take them a few minutes to get up to full strength, but that shouldn't be a problem. After that, beam down to the colony. I'll start making some nice Leola root stew for you. Oh, no. I mean, yes, restart the three shale generators. Got it. <sighs> oh, Captain, the Ambassador said it wouldn't be a problem. Anson. When somebody says something shouldn't be a problem, that's when it is a problem. Put the ship on yellow alert. I'm sure this won't be as simple as the ambassador thinks. All right, proceed to the next satellite. Hmm. 
Oh, it's up above me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, let's see. One more left. Straight ahead. Good work. Hmm, I'm, I'm shocked. There was nothing happening. Oh well. Wait a minute. Maybe I would. Uh, the K. Uh, hopefully the Kazan will attack me. I don't have to have that soup. Thank you so much for your assistance. You may beam down to our base at your leisure. Oh, and speaking in my formal capacity as permanent ambassador, welcome to the Delta Quadrant. Uh, thank you, ambassador. Thank you. Uh, yes, yes. Let's uh move down to the base and get this meal over with. It's so good to meet you in person. View screens are so impersonal, don't you think? May I shake your hand? I if memory serves, that's how. Mr. Vulcan? Is that you, Tuvok? Indeed. It is agreeable to see you again, Neelix. What a wonderful surprise! C come, my friends, we have so much to discuss! I'm afraid. Very afraid. <laughs> He's going to try and feed me, I know he is. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> you look well, Neelix. As do you, family, children. Being here has changed me for the better. Indeed. This colony is an improvement on your previous home. Twice as large and completely updated. You should see the kitchen. No, I don't want to see the kitchen. Please don't cook for me, Neelix. But you still seek a new home world. Of course, children need sun and open skies. A place to put down roots. Oh, what thank God! I mean, oh no, an attack. Sarah, the Kazon returned almost as soon as you transported down. We drove them off and they got an unlucky shot at the base before they left. Sensors are showing some structural damage in the operations bay. Acknowledge, Lieutenant. Inform me if the Kazon return. The operations bay. Dexter was in there. De De Dexter. Dexter's trapped. Please do something. Oh, Dexa! I thought you said Dexter. Oh, Dexa. Got it. Dexa's a little dizzy, but she'll be fine. I, I have to stay with her, though. I'm afraid I must impose on your kindness again. Several of our systems were damaged in the attack. Oh, he I can't he help he fix he them just now. Of course I'll help Neelix. What can I do? Alright, I gotta give a couple uh, welcomes here that I'm forgetting here that I did not. Alright, so, uh, Fest being available, and I just lost your name. Where did it go? <laughs> oh my goodness, I just had it up, and it went right by me. Alright, I'm gonna wait till it comes up. Ah, there it is. Alright. And see, worst Gurke, welcome to the cave. Thank you for following the channel. Yeah, got to have a proper welcome. Uh, thank you very much. We got some um, red bear and mini pizzas in the back tonight. Uh, we got some Johnson's Johnson City Dew and uh, some cherry Kool Aid for you. 
Thank you for following. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Alright, let's get back to our mission. I gotta get back to, I gotta get all of this and back into my cap. Oh! No, I'm not getting back into it. I've got I've got another one we've got a welcome to the cave. Hold on a minute. Come on up on the screen so I can see it. Because <laughs> I missed it on here. I gotta wait if it comes up on the screen. A dramatic pause, that's what this is, a dramatic pause. Svenex! Svenex! Thank you for following the channel. Welcome to the Yay Cave. I appreciate it. As I said, we've got some cherry Kool-Aid for you, some Johnson City Adieu, and some Red Bear and Mini Pizzas. Go ahead and help yourself, and thank you. Thank you, everyone who's followed the channel so far. I appreciate it tonight. Thank you very much. All right, let's get back into the mission. We've got some taloxanes to, to help you. Several of our systems are malfunctioning. Our communications, environmental controls, engineering, and the controls for the crane loading our ships all have been damaged. It would be my pleasure, Neelix. I mean, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, alright. You guys just stand there and I'll take care of it. Over here. Aha, it must be this console sparking unsafely. Uh, let's see now. We'll just head over. No, nothing this way there. Oh, uh, how are you? Uh, Starfleet Admiral here. How's it going? Uh, well, we'll get back to you. Excuse me, pardon me, Starfleet Admiral coming through. Well, must be this console there. It's the only one sparking with electricity unsafely. Yes. Let me walk right up to it and scan it. I don't think I need to scan it to see it's totally busted. Let's see. There's a console's power. Let's, um... Uh, let's re power through secondary relays. Let's uh, alter the electroplasma flow rate. Uh, let's uh, align the isolinear chip matrix. And let's replace the damaged fuses. <laughs> that's true, Fine ADQ, that's true. It's a very important job. How do I get down there? What was that? What the? Oh, that's pretty neat. Look at that. They built a lot of stuff here. Uh, aha! Uh, uh, I'm glad that you're all cheering, but could somebody fix the console that's broken here? Where's the... I can hear it. Oh my goodness, it's way up there. How am I supposed to fix that thing? Oh my god, I've got to jump? Are you kidding me? Uh, what? This is Star Trek Online, not, not Guild Wars 2. What is this? Uh, are you kidding me? This is totally unsafe. You need me to repair a crane. Well, I'm glad I was here for that important job. Like the hangar base. You know, out of character for a second, out of doing the, the storyline for a second. Some of these environments are really nice. Um, I like the way that this... I mean, it really gives you a sense of size of this place. <clears throat> um, I like I like the I like the environment so far. I really... Uh, and no, and all kidding aside, in the first mission and the second mission, you know, I, I'm making jokes. I go along here, but I like the mission so far. Well, I only played one, but but so far the missions have been nice. Are uh, they're not just little missions, like one-off little nothing missions? 
they're actually pretty decent so these turbo lift wow I gotta even use a turbo lift huh why am I here there it is right there Fixed console, of course. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, decrease frequency. Lock in frequency output. That, those all definitely required an admiral to do because obviously a lieutenant or an ensign couldn't handle those tasks. Uh, <clears throat> my voice is starting to go from doing that. Uh, where where are you, Neelix? Uh, excuse me, I'll just clip right through you. That's not where I went up, was it? Uh. Thank you so much. Everything seems to be working properly now, and Dex is feeling much better. I need to take one final lap around the base and speak to a few people before we depart. Would you care to accompany me? Why, are we jogging? <laughs> Why do you need to take a lap? <laughs> Wait, maybe you are jogging. <laughs> yeah, you are. I, I, was, well, I, I was just kidding there, but that's fine. What, what are you doing? You're actually taking a lap. <laughs> what are you doing Elix you're making me dizzy please stop before I have to phaser you and I might not put it on stun stop moving oh my god I am getting dizzy stop moving stop it get over here get over here right. I'll knock her out if I can't knock you out get Get the Get down. Get oh that's that doesn't look good. Oh Neelix, you're crazy. Where's Tuvok? I can't take you anymore. Tuvok, he's gone where are you, Tuvok? Tuvok, where? Stop. He's gone crazy. who are you? Oh hello. I'm preparing oh, the most no. wonderful feast to celebrate the colonization of our new home world. And we need to gather spices mm. for the Talaxian spice stew. I'll need Rangonzo, Smith Basil. What the hell? And some Nimeon. Rangonzo, what? I'm sure if you ask around, someone will have them. Wait a minute now. That's it. I've had it with this. I'm a Starfleet Admiral. I'm not going to run around and get you spices. Oh, that cup of coffee looks right. Oh, that's not coffee. That's water. Never mind. Um, of course I'll find what you need. Ugh. And then I'll shove it up your... I mean... Yeah, so... Isn't Chef Jolax great? Uh, oh, be quiet, Neelix. You're already on my nerves. Crisp is just, just, be, just stop talking. Neelix, stop talking. I bet stop Alex stop it. Wixen and Go away. No. Stop following me. You'll never make it to the colony. Oh my god. I haven't seen anyone like you around here before. You must be one of those visitors from the Alpha Quadrant. How uh, are you enjoying your time here? Uh, try the Jebelian berry salad yet? Are they all obsessed with food? I'm surprised they can fit into a shuttle. Not yet, but I'm helping the chef prepare a meal to commemorate the lunch. Do you happen to have any spices? Oh, is Jolex cooking? I can't wait. Give him this spith basil. Spice stew isn't the same without a little spit. Oh my god, they're spitting in the soup. What? Maxon likes his food spicy. I uh, once saw him add amber spice to uh, paraca wings. Oh, this mission. No. Just, no, make it stop, please. Make it stop. For the love of God. Make it. Why, hello there, Brexa. Hi there. Are you enjoying your stay in the Delta Quadrant? Is there anything you need? <laughs> well, now that you mention it, uh, 
I mean, uh, yes, I am helping the chef uh, prepare a meal uh, to commemorate the launch. Uh, do you happen to have any spices? Certainly. I have a bottle of Rengonzo from my last trading trip. I was saving it for a special occasion, and today certainly fits. Well, I'll be by later to pick that Rengonzo. Oh, Neelix, I didn't see you standing right behind me. <laughs> Thank you very Axians much. Axians are a warm and generous people. We'll put that to the test later on. All right, let's find your next uh, space. Where are we? Ah, this way. Oh my goodness! I'm ready to go on a patrol mission. Oh, use turbo lift. Wait, maybe I can get him on the other side here. Oh, Neelix, could you go over there and get me a box? I uh, forgot my uh, combat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah! Oh no, he's he made it in. Ugh. Ah, uh, hello, friend. Are oh you my looking for God. <laughs> uh, they're all so cheerful. Uh, I'm helping the chef prepare a meal to commemorate the lunch. You happen to have any spices? I'm an admiral. Why am I doing this? I'm an all admiral. I have is some Nimian sea salt. Do you uh, need it? Yes, that will be a great help. Uh, thank you very much. Now, Wixen, he's a reliable guy. Oh. You might even say he's the uh, Nimian salt of the earth. Oh my god, Neelix, that pun was so horrible. I feel like I've been in the Tantalus torture chair. Oh, Neelix, please give just mercy. Mercy! Oh my god, I'm going to phase of the shuttles when they leave this area, is what I'm going to do. My god, I'm making a stew. I think. I don't even remember anymore. My mind's gone blank. I'm an admiral. Why am I getting spices? I don't understand this mission. I don't under... Oh, hello. 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 You must Wait a be minute. Of You're her twin sister. Alpha Quadrant. Twins. Thank you for uh. repairing our shield generators. Is there anything I can do to help you? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, you and your twin sister can uh, assist me with some, uh, well, assist me in calibrating my sensors, if you know what I mean. Uh, I mean, I I'm helping Jolin prepare a meal to commemorate the launch. You happen to have any spices? My mate gave me a bit of Prishik last Oh, Brixen. mate. Would oh, that never help? Mind. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Alex is like a mother to all the children here. Oh, she is she? a bit of candy in her pockets for them. I bet she does. I bet she does. Come on, Neelix. <laughs> oh my god, this mission. By order of Starfleet Command, I have your spices. <laughs> oh god. Oh, thank you so much. I'll save you a bowl of stew. Uh, 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 uh. Thanks, but the laxy food is a bit spicy for me. That's okay. Should I have tried it? I don't know. It probably was an achievement, but I don't need an achievement that bad. Help the astrometric scientist. Ugh. Can't these pe How did these people survive in this colony before I came? Oh, he's still there. Did they able to? Were they able to cook and eat and survive? I need to scan the route we'll take to the colony, but the Kazon attack has damaged our astrometric system. All it will tell me is how far off I am from our target position. I feel like I'm taking shots in the dark. <laughs> Would you be willing to help me? <laughs> Would you like to take shots in the dark? <laughs> it's fine with me. Uh, <laughs> I'll be here a while. All right. Uh, By adjusting the sensor uh. array's pitch, up and down, and yaw, left uh. and right, you can point the array at the target. By adjusting the force, you can change the distance the array examines. Uh, be sure not to overshoot the target location. The array will be useless if that happens. Well, I'd hate for that to happen. Just, all right, uh, just pitch uh, the force to get the arrival coordinates to the target position. Target must be within one kilometer for safe travel. Uh, just pitch. Uh, up. 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 
No. Down, 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 down. No, up. Back. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you're right. Up. Up. There we go. Change the force. No, increase force. Lock it in! I can't thank you enough for your help. Dex is going to be fine. The doctor says she'll be up and around in no time. Great to hear, Neelix. Glad to hear I need it. to return to Voyager. Please escort the Talaxian fleet to New Talix. <sighs> of course, Admiral. Uh, Lieutenant, have phasers on hot standby. Uh, it would be an honor, Admiral. Honor, honor. We can return to Voyager at your earliest convenience. The Talaxians have much to do. No, apparently not, because I've done everything for them. But yes, yeah, certainly, Admiral, I'll, uh... Oh, I am so ready to beam up. Can you just, just get me out of here, please? Fly to... What do you mean, fly to... Oh, there we go. Well, they repaired her pretty quick. Thank you for all you have done for the Talaxians. I believe that they will I be made a soup. valuable ally to us in the days ahead. That would not have been possible without your assistance. I am confident we will see one another again. Until then, live long and prosper. We're besties now. Uh, yes, peace and long peace and long life to you, Admiral. Our ships are ready to depart. Travel to the staging area to join us in our new adventure. Uh. Uh, yes, of course, Neelix. On my way. Oh, what do I gotta do now? Fly to the stage here. Well, it's right in front of me. Are you ready to depart for New Talax? <sighs> of course, uh, uh, Ambassador. Uh, set course for New Talax. Apparently, I'm not warping there. Ah, yes. Sir, I am detecting extremely high radiation levels in this system. Too high for a normal dispersal pattern. I'll investigate further. But first, Neelix is hailing us from the Talaxian transport vessel. Oh, put him on screen, Anson. He probably wants me to find him some more spices or do his laundry or, or something of that nature. But, but go ahead, on screen, on screen. Are you detecting the theta radiation spikes? Those levels have been normal and steady for weeks now. What could have happened? No, of course I'm not, Neelix. I'm only on a Galax-class vessel. We don't have things like sensors. Uh, we'll check it out. You stay here with the fleet. Uh. Sir, there appears to be a high amount of theta radiation around the planet. Our scans indicated it was recently placed here. It should not be an issue for us to remove them, but we would have to deal with whoever dumped the radiation in the first place. Neelix, do you have any idea of who did this? Theta radiation could mean only one thing. The Malon. They lack the technology to recycle antimatter waste, which has led them to develop an entire industry around dumping theta radiation in various areas. We can't survive on new Talax if the Malon are going to use it as their personal garbage dump. Well, time to find another planet, then. Uh, I'll deal with it, Neelix. I'll deal with it. Malon frigates. Off the bow. Open a hailing frequency to the Malon frigates, Lieutenant. I want to have a word with them. Unknown vessel. This site is claimed by the Malon. Go find your own dump site. 
The Talaxians have claimed this system. You need to find another place to dump your waste. Why? I was here first. Besides, there's a neutron star near here that makes this the perfect location for our needs. Finding another would be too expensive. Tell the Talax... Wait a minute, what are you doing? Did you just cut off communications? Unknown vessel. Why? I, I was here first. They're There's a me off. star near here that makes this the perfect location for our needs. Finding another would be too expensive. Tell the Talaxians to find another planet. Uh, <clears throat> as much as I'd like to leave now or I'll make you leave. Which wouldn't take much. I'll do what I should. The Talaxians have been searching for years for a planet like their homeworld. We could assist you to find another dump site. Oh, I should have blown them up to begin with. Red alert, target their engines. Uh, destroying the ships will only make the radiation worse. Oh, I wish I wasn't just to save any these guys. Oh, joy. More, more Melons. Great. Yeah, I remember it too. I remember the Voyager was yeah, I remember this episode too. Yeah. Apparently that's enough dumping for you. Battleship? Ah I mean haha. I mean good, I'm about good, good, good. Now they can see what a battleship really is. Stand your ground, Lieutenant. Stand your ground. Reinforce forward shields. Hail their vessel. Enough! You've ruined me! Wrecked my ship! At least spare my life! Find another place to dump your trash. This dump is closed. The Malon are gone, but the radiation is still around. Oh, what can we do? This would have been a perfect homeworld. But we can't live here if the radiation is going to infect the entire planet. Nihilus, Nihilus, calm down. The indefatigable can easily remove the radiation. Just give us a moment. If I can get spices for your stew, I can remove radiation. <sighs> Cleaning up radiation, getting spices. What have I come to?
Where is the other radiation? Whoops. Aha, there they are. Right, oh, right there, right there. Nothing but a glorified street sweeper right now. Ugh. I can only pray this mission will end soon. <laughs> Before Neelix has me doing his laundry for him, too. Thank you so much for all of your help. You are a true friend to me yeah. and to the Thalaxian people. Your crew will always be welcome on Nutalix. And good luck in your voyages. I hope to see you again soon. It's been a, a pleasure, Neelix. Truly. Best of luck to you and your people. As soon as you're ready, we can leave. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Depart system, please, yes. Immediately. Get us out of here quickly before he gives me any more jobs to do. Next you know I'll be cleaning his litter box. Oh. Alright, contact Delta Quantum Command. No, I want to finish the mission. I just Renew Ah new to the office. Yes, the Malons were causing problems. Hmm. I'll make a note of that. Hopefully, they'll just be a minor make a inconvenience. Mm. Admiral Janeway wasn't very impressed by them. Neelix has sent word that the migration of the Talaxians is going smoothly. We've sent several ships to ensure they're protected from any more Malon incursions. Our first venture into the Delta Quadrant appears to be a success. Hmm. A hole from Ah, I take the field generator. And we are done with the reunion. Yay!